Well, well, Sanya, it's a privilege Thank to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for much. the wonderful uh, hospitality. You, you will get, you got my. Uh, I got your, 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 your great contribution yes, yes. for the uh, supporting the beatification yes. of your great friend. Yeah. We have the one of uh, Yes, I have it there which I'm going to read. Mm -hmm. he, he, he wrote something very wonderful. Yes, it's experienced. He knew him. Too. He knew him. And knew him. in the seminary and, uh, and, after, and after when he was minister. When he was uh, yeah. well, yes. interesting. I, I, I have a couple of Okay. So before we begin this uh, interview, Monsignor, you know, which is a is this a Zoom book as this? Uh, this is a, uh, is now a legend. Uh -huh. This was written after his death. After his death. Yeah. Uh -huh. This book was written after his death. It was published in 1989. Uh -huh. This one. Yes, by different. What about this one? This one was published after his death as a commemoration. So what happened during the funeral and everything. Uh -huh. And this is life. This is of exactly. These are people who wrote about him. People like Obsolantum, which I've had the the, yes, the, 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 the Okay, now this is wonderful. You can. Mm. I'm, I'm going to give you a copy later. Okay. So for yes. that, yes. <laughs> so Monsignor, before we begin, uh, this is a very very important scientific research on Professor Dr. Benas of the Kafal who is being considered as a saint because he distinguished himself as a Cameroonian not only in Nigeria but also in Ireland in all the different countries where I was in Dublin I was in Dublin when I was out again my own ideal okay he was in Cork when I was exactly uh, I was in Dublin so there are many 19, 19, 19, uh, 19 uh, that was that was yes that was back then you went to that that was a good thing <laughs> Yeah, I remember it was, I wrote it down to, yeah. I was 1960 Did something. Did you contact this uh, lady? I contacted Sister Flores around uh -huh. then, uh -huh. but the memoir is missing. The memoir you wrote is it's not missing. to be found. She yeah. has, she says she didn't know if she had left it in uh, the Nigeria or Cameroon. So I'm still in search of it. We, I need that memoir. <laughs> but maybe we can talk about that later, Monsignor. Okay. So before we begin, Monsignor, it is important that uh, this uh, scientific research is many people in Cameroon and worldwide are interested about this interview. So I'd like to introduce you first to our uh, viewers who want to know who Monsignor Alfonso Zagiazo is. I did a research on you, which I'm going to read very briefly. So um, I have the privilege, dear friends, to meet uh, our distinguished Monsignor Aguiazu, the 95-year-old Catholic Monsignor, who is the oldest Catholic Monsignor in southeastern Nigeria. Well, oldest well, in the priesthood. In the priesthood. Yes, okay. because I'm 66 in, in the, the priesthood. priesthood. Exactly. But I can't say I'm the oldest. Exactly. So one so of... Many, many <laughs> vocations. There are some people in some other part of Nigeria. Okay. People who were... Uh, when I was 29, okay. and I was with them. I see. So I was a then young. Then there are some people in our church or the person like this who entered the seminary at the age of 50. Okay. So they are not up to 50 years in, in the priesthood. In the priesthood. But they are of but age. But they are older than myself. Okay. So the right thing is supposed to be meet our 95 years old Catholic Monsignor, who is the oldest okay. in the priesthood. In the priesthood. <laughs> 66 years old. 66 years, six years old. Priest, okay. Because when we were ordination, in our ordination in 1954, okay. there were only, you wrote it down, yes. there were only six of us in the whole of Nigeria. Who were ordained? We were ordained. Instead of seven. Because Fong Long was supposed to, was part of your class. Yeah, well, he, 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 yes, he wasn't ordained. Exactly, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> you see, we were six, uh, six, six of us. Okay. Uh, I found it, you wrote it down. Yes. I found it then. Okay. From Calabar. I see. Uh, I don't know from uh, in Soka. On the way, on the diocese. Is he still alive? No. So oh, you're the no, only no, living. No, it's only my <laughs> <laughs> so this is quite yeah. interesting. Monsignor is the only living uh, priest who was ordained in 1954. 1954 in Nigeria. At Uli. Uh -huh. You were ordained at Uli, right? At Uli. Uli. Good. Uli. So it shows that I studied. Uli. Uli. <laughs> <laughs> So, the Catholic Church is the oldest Christian church in the world, dating as far back as the times of the Apostle of Jesus Christ. 
The Catholic Church ordains ministers in order for the church to work effectively. These ministers also administer the sacraments of the church. They are the Pope, the Cardinals, the Archbishop, the Bishops, the, 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 the Priests and Deacons. A Catholic priest is a man who serves as a mediator between God and man. He offers the people's prayer to God and brings back answers from God. Monsignor Alfonso Aguiazzo is 95 years old of age and uh, as he has corrected, the oldest priest <laughs> of, uh, of Nigeria. Of Nigeria. Yes. So, dear viewers, it's important to mention that the, the, the title Monsignor is an honorific title in the Catholic Church which is given to priests who have distinguished themselves and contributed extensively and greatly in evangelization. So it's an honorific title for distinguished work. Yes, well, here in Olo, well, you know, here in Owele, okay. the, we don't distinguish Monsanos. The, the bishop has made four, uh, uh, nine, six Monsanos okay. this year. I see. Yeah? Yes. Uh, but uh, for him, I found the bishop of all that makes a distinction between who is a chambe, 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 and some other thing. We don't have this that type of distinction. Yeah. Okay. You see, but we know uh, when nobody is that uh, is the bishop who approves it. Exactly. Uh, it's also approved bishop. by the Holy Father. But uh, for Chiaga, yes. in Oro, yes, uh, they, they are made to understand. Yeah. Because he was asking me which type of uh, masala. Are you? <laughs> no, no, no. I can't tell you because we don't have that distinction here. Yeah. Okay. And uh, if you ask me to know the parts of the uh, in French sector, yes. there's a body at all. It's called a masala. Yes. If you are a general, you are masala. If so, so factor. So they good. have their own, their own definition of masala is different from our own distinction in Nigeria. Okay. Thank you very much for that uh, elucidation, <laughs> which is very important. So let's get back to Monsignor Alfonso Aguiazzo. Uh, in the Catholic Agency of Oweri, there is a man, a theologian, a philosopher, an evangelist, a son of Akuma, in uh, Imo State called Monsignor Alfonso Uwauchi. Uwauchi. Aguiazzo. Agaizu. Agaizu. Born on August 1st. 1925 yes. at uh, Akuma, Akuma, Imo State. He was given the name Alphonsus because he was born on the patron saint day of Saint Alphonsus of Ligo. Yes. Okay. Um, Monsignor Alfonso Agui, uh, Aguiazu, Aguiazu. <laughs> entered Junior Seminary in 1941 at CKC College Onitsha. 1940. From 1940. Uh, two to 19 no 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 from 19 no no he finished in 1945 it means you entered in 1941 and i think that's where you made fun long because fun long also went there came, came exactly a year later for a year okay we were in prep class they came and then we joined class third class okay and they won that year they increased the number of students i see in CKC. why was it increased well a new principal came and recruited more students. Okay. But just for a joke. Interesting. It's not for Flanagan. Flanagan had gone on holidays. To Ireland. To Ireland. So this new man yes. uh, for whatever increased the number of students. Okay. And we have five classes. Interesting. In class three. Wow. And one for long was in class four D D. 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 Upon D. And you were in? And I was in four A. I see. Yes. So you were not in the same class? Yes, we were not in the same class. But okay, you always met during the uh, breaks? In, in that, in that uh, uh, year, <laughs> when he came. Okay. With, uh, what is it? Mbo, uh, somebody. Mbo, uh, from Mbo. the Cameroons? From the Cameroons. Okay, interesting. Uh, now, I was trying to find out from the, uh, from the amateur. Okay. When the June seniors, Junior senior, I came to 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 CKC. No, to CKC. Okay. Because I, I don't know, we came when I came. The, the, the junior senior is already in CKC, but it wasn't there before. I, but by, I did probation in 1946 okay. and 47. 
I taught in CKC. That's was the only fun one was assassin. I see teaching too. We teach in there too. I used and, to and we exchange. Call it, call it How right. did you do that by letters? Letters. Because there were no phones at the time. Yes, I was looking by letters. You look in the sun. I look in the bit. How are things going? Okay. And especially when we finished up in CKC, about uh, sixteen of us. Okay. Sixteen students, seniors. But only of that number, yes, of us, only two yes. came to Opala. Which was the seminary at the time. Which was the, from we le, when we left, forty-seven in CKC. In CKC. Okay. Then forty-eight we went to Opala. Fallon came, came from Fremont, and uh, and uh, Anthony Wokelem is another student in CKC. Okay. Was there with us and all that. Is he still alive? No. Okay. So uh, we, I forgot to say that you are the only living. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Monsignor did philosophy at St. Peter and Paul Seminary of Pala. Of Pala. Uh, now St. Peter Claver Seminary yes. in 1948. Yes. Uh, theology in Bigard from 1951 to 54. Ordination uh, was in August 1st, 1954. But that's interesting. You were ordained on the day of your patron saint. Yes, because I asked the bishop. <laughs> I, I was wondering, so why was he on the same day he was born? I asked the bishop. Okay. <laughs> to, because the feast of St. Alphonsus yes. used to be a second August. Oh, so yeah. I asked Bishop William, I want to be a ordination in the first. Yes. So that I say my first mass on the on second, the second. Mm -hmm. which is the feast of my patron saint. Exactly. And he accorded it. And he accorded it. Uh, so my first mass was on the feast of St. Alphonsus. But liturgy has changed since. Exactly. And uh, is now first of all. That's true. Wow. See? So the bishop was very, very understanding. Very, very understanding. Okay. You see that letter? And he preached at my sermon. Oh, at my yes. first mass, I know, I'm not going Wow. The bishop himself was present. Interesting. And he did the sermon. In here, I wasn't able to. Exactly. It was your first time. <laughs> Do you remember what he said at the first month? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. it's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so let's continue, Monsignor. After that, uh, um, after your ordination, mm -hmm. you worked for some time and you yes. went to Ireland. Yes, after my ordination, then uh, we, I had to go to the round of St. Paul, Willy Parish. Okay. For a month, I see. Before I returned to the to the seminary, seminary. to get your faculties, to, to get to my faculties. Okay. And on my uh, on that day at Uli, yes, Fonlon and uh, some of the young men from came. Uh, even though the Onitsha ordination not on Onitsha that day, okay. they came to Uli for my own. Wow, it shows the the because the, 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 it was the I thought so it's so busy a day. Okay. I just sent. I saw them and said, Fit, thank them for it. You greeted them. Uh, but uh, when I was coming back now to Inugu, you mentioned a letter. I went to, uh, to, to, to CKC, 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 staff quarters. To staff quarters. Where started, you slept with. Uh, yes, uh, yes. And found one himself. And uh, told me the next morning he came to the Father Chapel. I said that my mind. Oh, really? Did you invite him or he did it spontaneously? I slept in his house. Okay. And when it was morning, it, uh, we were going to say my in the father's chapel. Okay. And they followed me and served. This is extraordinary. Isn't it? So even after he was sent away from the seminar, he remained a good Christian. What? And uh, the fathers were so impressed. With that? Uh, that uh, that was, they made their statues to arrange for him to go to court. In CKC, that sent Fon Long to court, Ireland. <laughs> but when he went there, okay. then members of Sase, that's the college. Yes, where CGC, he taught. Where he taught, they took over the scholarship. Okay, interesting. But, uh, because he told the story about how uh, in his memoir. Yes. He said he told the story about his memoir. Okay. How what he did at the CKC, and how the fathers said that he must come back and teach. And teach there. And he, he said that on that day, you know, if he that did the case, he would accept. He would accept that condition. Yes, but. Uh, until the, the, the uh, like ordinary in his memoir. <laughs> so that's why the CDC took over. The CDC and that's why he returned to Cameroon. Exactly. 
So it was, he went to, he accepted the trust and it is provided that he heals. He is not obliged that he can come to his case, but he go to the Belarus to do that. Exactly. He's coming. That's on that condition. Interesting. It's in his memorial. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Moses. So he loves Cameroon. But he did, and mm. he did extra. We, we shall come to that. I was just introducing Monsignor because there's a lot to talk about Monsignor. So Monsignor is a philanthropist, he's a light, he's a role model to young priests and aspiring ones. Monsignor Aguiazo is a trailblazer and a blessing to Catholicism in Oweni, Southeast Nigeria, and worldwide. Um, there are some things which I would like to to, to to read about Monsignor, which are very very important. The first one is uh, page four. Yes, here we are. Here we are here. For um, I'm not this one. <laughs> Love papers. To cut the long story short, Monsignor Giazu says that we must be grateful to God for his for his divine love. Uh, he adds that we must be careful not to let down this gift from God. He also says that our collective prayer is that this boom will never be allowed to translate into a dome. Mm -hmm. I like the way you use the yes, word yes, boom dome. You see, it must not. It must be a boom yes. in quality, not in quantity. Okay, in quality. That's not only in quantity. Interesting. He also declares that his habitual feeling about the faith in Igbo land is one of gratitude and optimism. Okay. Uh, since uh, the past 66 years, he has been a glamour and he has uh, and he has participated in obedience and poverty in the victimhood of Jesus Christ. So this is just a summary of who Monsieur Francis is. He's a distinguished person who got to study and meet Monsieur uh, Professor Doctor Fon Long, and that's why I'm here to give to conduct an interview to you about this distinguished Cameroonian. Um, uh, before I do another thing, this is the paper I was looking for. So, Monsieur Francis is a man, though old by number of age, but still full of life and vibrancy, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Still full of life and strong. At 95, he's still Lucy. He can speak reasonably. It's quite admirable, and we have to thank God for that, for this gift to you. <laughs> so, Monsieur Gesu recalls the joy he felt on the day of his ordination in 1954, that is 66 years ago when he blessed a teeming crowd of admirers. Do you recall that joy you had at Oli? Oli. He also paid a thought uh, to his vow. Uh, he took never to miss celebrating mass each day until the end of his death. We shall later talk later on, the, on, 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 on your life, on what happened later. Okay, let's go to Fon Long. Let's go to Fon Long. Your friend, your great friend. I, before this interview, I conducted an interview to Professor Lantu who was the closest, one of the closest friends of Fonlo. They traveled together in the Cameroon, and in, when he went to Sase, uh, Fonlo went to Enugu. So I had an interview with him in which he told me about the formative years of Fonlo. Formative, that is well, primary school. Enugu, what did he do at Enugu? No, he was not at Enugu. When Fonlo was going to Enugu, he yeah. went to Sase. Sase, yeah. yes. So he didn't even teach him in Sase? He didn't teach him, but he was younger, about seven years different. Okay. But he gave us information about his formative year. So, Monsignor, I'm here to get information from you about uh, Fon Long from CKC 1942, when you met him for the first mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. until the day he left the seminary, mm -hmm. and after, if you had communications with him. Okay, so my first question, uh, Monsignor Agiazu. <laughs> Agiazu. I don't have to make that mistake again. Agiazu. Okay, G is not pronounced. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, Monsieur <laughs> My first question is this When was the first time you came in contact with Professor Fonlon? 1942. Could you tell us what happened? What was the situation? How did you meet him? When? Well, we, we, we came to the seminary. Before that, but they, they were the two two Cameroonians who came okay. himself and the Morris and Bo. Morris and Bo? I think he's dead now. Yes, he's of late. Morris and Bo. Okay. They, they came 
they told me the story. They came through you cut it. Trek it through the bush. Trek it through the bush. Savage. Uh, that's how we told me about the story. Okay. But he came to see Casey and I met him in this case. Do you remember the first time you met him? The first time. Mm, yes, in the, in the, when we when he, he came and and uh, they introduced ourselves. Okay, said, that was from Cameroon. From Cameroon and Mbo. Mbo didn't succeed in, in going to the senior. No, okay. he left. He didn't even go to the senior seminary. Okay, uh, he, he left uh, some some cases. I don't know where he is. I don't know whether he went back to Cameroon. So, so that was the first time you met from 1942. 42. Okay. So from 1942 to 1945. Five, we were together in, 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 in class. Okay. But not the same classes. Yeah, you were in A, he was in D. He was in D. Did you meet during break time? How was the relationship at that time with him? Was he a close friend or you just met him every day? No, but you see, in three cases, okay. the seminary was a different dormitory. Oh. And the boarding spot was a different. I see. We go to chapel at the same chapel. Okay. Okay. But we, in class, we don't talk to the, the, the students. Oh, okay. You only talk to the seminarians? Seminarians. We don't talk to It's like a rule. Okay. It's questionable whether that rule yeah. still functions has today. It, has it any effect okay. on the... the because the, 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 the students of CKC yes. never, never uh, liked us, um, seminarians, you know. Why, why, why and then was when it we were in class, they wonder why they, why they we don't talk to the seminarians. Yeah. Uh, all guys we used to come, okay. my one friend, one, one, one of our students in yeah. class three, okay. in class four, that's three class three. Don't talk to them, don't talk to them, we're seminarians. I didn't talk to him. Oh my no, God. He knows I, I wouldn't talk to him, but he wants to tease me. So don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I'm a severe. You are a severe. Okay. Just. And then don't ask you to say, oh, why? Why is it always? Is it because the one with the onion may touch my iniquity or something? Is it because we will infect them with iniquity? Iniquity. Okay, they have iniquity. all that type of that uh, idea about severance. Oh. The result is. When we came to this in Ubigat, okay, there was this many students of CKC who were there. They never visited us. Oh my God! But uh, I, uh, uh, I thank and uh, Monsieur look at and, and, look at us and all that and uh, those uh, and the uh, um, um, innocent de Okay, those who studied in sacred art to Calabar. Okay. They mix with their students, and doing their, their they have their job. They come very often to visit their, yes, to their students. So but different. no senior seminarian, uh, no accident of sick day, they ever came to the guard to visit us. Oh my God! You so see, that really affected, mm. which is not good. Which is not good. Yeah, because the seminarian and the lay person, uh, what is the difference? Yes, because you, you see, it 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 it, it has an effect. Even when we were going on holidays, okay. because uh, the priest then in in Moina Bishop Moina or Calabar and all this, they when you go when you go on holidays, okay, the students uh, from uh, the priests, the Holy Ghost Fathers, yes, you see, never we never stayed with them. Oh they give us a uh, house where the, 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 the boy will be cooking for us. Okay. We never share that table with them. Oh. How could you uh, you are not and then come to the table? Oh but in God. Calabar it was different. Okay. The, the priests in Calabar ate with their students. And that was good because the students learned from them. You see, that was that type of uh, bringing up. Unfortunately. Uh, other things uh, about uh, our own feelings with them. Okay. That I read somewhere else. I see. Yeah. I don't know whether I'm going to be. Yeah, we will we'll, we'll see. Now, but that's the, uh, that was the reality. Are, the, 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 are you asking me about how how did we stay in CKC? I'm, I'm asking about the relationship. relationship. For long was a seminarian. Was a seminarian. So there was and no. We're in the same dormitory. Okay, good. And we said to Mass together. Oh. And uh, we. we, uh, we 
you played football together, yeah, sports. Yes. So what particular thing do you remember of Fon Long at that young age? He was about 20 something. Yeah. At that time. What in particular say so he was just a simple how can you describe him as a young yeah, yeah, minor good, seminarian? He was a good seminarian. You know? okay. And uh, we had no problems with the uh, with Cameroonians. With, uh, with, uh, the Salad. Our mm -hmm. our auxiliary. Yes. No, no, we were in the seminary that's from some some post. Some seminarian. He is the auxiliary of the salad. Who looked after the, 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 the senior prefect. Exactly. So, uh, the, uh, he had no problems with it. Neither a couple of any of the senior guys. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much for that. That's <laughs> interesting to know. He was a good student. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you mentioned Monsignor in your. Um, uh, you mentioned that you mentioned in your humble contribution to the cause for the gratification mm -hmm. of, of a close friend, which you wrote on August 20th, uh, that uh, that uh, before the sub diaconate ordination, Fon Long, that was in 1953, Fon Long was dropped mm -hmm. from the seminary. Mm -hmm. But before that, you people who were in CKT from 1941 to 45, and then you went to Opala. Uh, uh, is that far from Bonicha? No, sorry. Yeah, so you see, all, all the is, uh, all the is over there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about two, three hours. Yeah, all is over there. Can you describe the journey in those days? How did you travel from Onitsha to Rock Pala? Were there cars, lorries, or buses, or you train? When, when I went to Rock okay. it was on bicycle. Bicycle? Yeah. How did you do that? Were you, could you ride a I bicycle? Went, I went, I, 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 by bicycle and they put their yeah, luggage at the back and they sat from in between. Oh my god. For how many hours? Long hours, right? Yes, yeah, so really, I put in with it. Then with I get there and I get it there and I cycle it from it. So what? It was a serious issue. Yeah, it was a serious issue. So from um, from uh, Onitia to Okpala for the major seminary to begin philosophy, before long came. Obviously, for long did philosophy at Okpala? Yeah, he came to Okpala. So did he? Matter of one. Okay, so you don't know if he had a bicycle too? I don't know how he came. Okay. <laughs> he was telling, telling all the story about how... Well, he left how Kevin Woods. How he left Kevin Woods and came. It was serious, they did it on foot. And there was, and there was another Cameroonian okay. in the oil at that time. That was Wanku. Wanku, Aloysius Wanku. Did you ever meet Father Aloysius Wanku? I know he was uh, one of uh, the senior students. They were in theology. Oh, when why? He came in as philosopher. What do you remember from Wanku? Hmm. <laughs> he used to, he used to tell us you know, about the rector. Has to be found. It's absolutely important. I, I will get it, but I get it typed. Okay. In short, if I find it in my book, okay. And then I, I type it up. I, I can even help you to type. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. The, your memoir of Fonlon. Yes. That would be very important. Okay. So, so Monsignor, philosophy, Fonlon came to Upala, Oweri. Mm -hmm. And then I was told the seminary was moved to Enugu. Then from Upala. Upala to Enugu. So Enugu began, they became the theological uh, 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 campus. Began. Okay. So, began the so when people went to Bigger, that was 1951, mm -hmm. to begin theology. Mm -hmm. Long went with you. Mm -hmm. You were together with him. Well, in 53. In 53, something happened, something very serious. Mm -hmm. Before the subdiaconate, you said in your letter, in the morning of the subdiaconate, he was dropped. In the morning, she sister came in from the Cameroons in the Imagine. previous evening oh to, to stay with some of the Cameroonians there for the ordination. For the ordination in the morning, only myself. What happened? See? And then I, I see what the phone line. I mean, um, the, the, the young man. Um, 